What's good y'all? Welcome back to Tech with Luke. I told y'all in the last video I was going to be buying uh, Colorware skin for my brand new 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. I wanted to get a skin before I got a case because I really don't want to try to have a case. I want to have a protective skin that I could put in and out of the bag not have to worry about it. So I got that. I got the matte black version. I got the top, the bottom, and the trackpad. I didn't think the keyboard skin looked good, so I didn't get that, but I'm going to install those on it today, and we're going to see how it looks, and we'll see if it's worth it. That's nice. Look at that. Matte black. You can choose to either get the Apple logo cut out or not. I chose to have it cut out. And then I got the trackpad. I thought that would be dope. I was going to get it for the keyboard too, but it just did not look right with the speaker holes and things. I thought the trackpad, the front and the bottom was really all I need. So. Start with the lens cleaning wipe. I think this is probably one of the most important steps here is getting all the oil and dirt and grease off of the MacBook. It's aluminum so it can stick properly. The sticker can stick properly to it. Just put a protector on my Apple Watch so I really just did this so. Hopefully I can do it right without the instructions. We'll see. Pretty sure it's pretty self-explanatory. Lining it up is probably the hardest problem. But I think we can take... Let's try and decide if I want to do the long side or the short side. It's probably easier to line up this short side first. But more room for failure. It starts to go the wrong way. One of the best way is get yourself at a comfortable angle so you can see it. And you want to start an edge. And we want a credit card or something. I think we'll use we'll use that. I'll use the side of this. Something where I'm going to start on the short side. This side, instead of starting here, I feel that it will be easier. I'm going to just fold back a little of the plastic so you can get it lined up on the edge here. If you're sitting, I would stand. So we want to make sure we line up the Apple logos. You got yours with an Apple logo.
started in here right. It should land on this Apple logo perfectly, which obviously isn't easy to do, but it is doable. enough skin that it will just lay down without having a lot of air bubbles. You might want to use a card, it's really your preference, but um, whenever air bubbles in, you can rub out. slightly off there. It's like a millimeter. You can't feel it though. I could let my OCD make it bother me. It looks great. Perfect. Five on so backwards. So. Good there. Alright. That wasn't hard enough. Now let's do the back. All right, looks like it goes this way. Got another wipe in here. holes for each of the feet. There's a cutout for the vent back there. There's a cutout for these vents. So we gotta be very careful on putting this on.
think you can get that top correct. The rest should just fall into place. So you want to smooth out around the feet of it. credit card or just your thumb, finger. You want to make sure all of the air bubbles get out. them when you're putting it down they're way easier to fix than if you had to pull up the whole thing to get to them with Pro, I promise you, if you could. All right, the last thing here. I'm gonna do the trackpad real quick and we'll be all done. Should be the easiest of them. I'm gonna start up top here, just like the last one. Corners. Color wear has been around for a while, so I would bet that they would be pretty precise on their cutouts. some side and back and front protectors it didn't I might buy those separately but my main goal was to get a protective skin on this before I choose to have a case or to never have a case hopefully it can replace the case for me I me mean, never have a problem 
Now, I've got this to hopefully keep the look of the trackpad looking nice and obviously have it look dope.